Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Tech Tips channel. Do you ever think of integrating the Google Calendar with AppSheet to add or edit or delete Google Calendar event from your app or vice versa? Today, I am going to share with you how to integrate Google Calendar with AppSheet. Let's see how it works. Create a new calendar event from AppSheet. Save it. Wait for the data sync completed, then let's check the event in the Google Calendar. And yes, this is the event that we created from AppSheet. Let's edit the event in Google Calendar. See whether the changes will shown in the AppSheet. Save the changes. Let's check in the AppSheet. Changes are yet to reflect here. Let's refresh the data. Yes, data is changed after refresh. The description in the attendees is edited. We also able to remove this event by clicking the delete button. Wait for the data sync completed and then check in the Google Calendar. The event have been removed from Google Calendar. Now you know the power of this integration. Let's see how to accomplish it. Before we enable this function in our app, we are required to add the calendar as data source first. In your AppSheet account, click on the source option. Then add a new data source. In the data source list, click on the Google Calendar. Then select the Google Calendar that you wish to connect it to. Once it is success, then you will found the newly added data source here. Then back to AppSheet. Add the connected calendar and data. Click the add new table. Then select the Google Calendar source. Then choose which calendar you would like to add. Same as adding new Google Sheet. The new added calendar will show here. All right, let's proceed to configure the column. Once the Google Calendar data is added, all the column is set with recommended data type by default. For this time, I only change one data type, the attendees. For these attendees, I set it as grabbing the data from the staff table, and this column is available for multi-selection, like this. Let's check out the staff table. The email is getting from the staff table. To enable this, we need to change the default setting for attendees column. Set the type as enum list. This is to enable multi-selection. Then set the base type as a reference to the staff table. While the other columns, we leave it as default. Data is ready. Let's proceed to user interface. Create a new view. Then set it as shown. Let's configure the form as well. What we need to do here is just add the column order. Completed, don't forget to save the setting. Let's test the form that we just created. All right, we end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.